Good morning students. In today's class, we will be talking about Arrhenius acid base concept. Now this Arrhenius acid base concept is a proton donor is called as an acid and in water. The definitions given by Arrhenius are valid for aqueous medium where according to Arrhenius anything which is able to donate a proton in an aqueous medium is called as an Arrhenius acid. Whereas a base according to Arrhenius is hydroxyl ion donor. Any hydroxyl ion donor in an aqueous medium would be known as a base. Hence Anything which has a proton is called as an acid. Therefore, the examples for acids would be HCl, HBr, HNO3, H2SO4, the mineral acids of these types. The reason being they are capable of donating a proton. On the other hand, when we talk about bases, bases are identities which have to donate a hydroxyl ion. So need to have a hydroxyl ion first. So NaOH, OH de sakta hai. KOH, OH de sakta hai. Magnesium hydroxide, capable of giving two OH ions and so on. All metal hydroxides will fall under the category of bases. Now before I move ahead to the Arrhenius drawbacks, I would like to specify one thing. Writing H plus is not correct. Because nothing of this kind exists. An H plus can only exist in the presence of water. Therefore, it's always correct to write H plus as hydronium ion. Why so? H can form an H plus only by the loss of electron. H may say electron nikalo, to wo H plus banega. H ka size sub se chuda. Electron tightly bound. Energy required to remove this electron pretty high. Therefore, electron nikalna bahut mushkil hai. Therefore, the ionization energy would be extremely high. Hence, this is not easy. But if the same thing happens in the presence of water, in the presence of water, the H positive ion which we were talking about is surrounded by water molecules. Water molecules, as you very well know, has a structure like this. Why do we draw it as bent? Due to the presence of the two lone pairs on oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative than H. Hence, you have a polarity difference in this molecule. H plus, therefore, is attract, attacked by the oxygen of water molecules. Hence, you have water molecules attracted towards H positive like this, this is called as hydration. This attraction between water molecules and H positive ion leads to loss of energy which is your hydration energy. This value is always negative and this is also high. Since this hydration energy is much higher than the ionization energy, the removal of electron can happen in the presence of water. So, the electron proton can only exist in the presence of water. Hence, it is correct to write hydronium ion and not H positive. So, this hydronium ion is equivalent to H positive as the formation would only happen in the presence of water. What does water do? Water provides the energy which is required to remove this electron from hydrogen to lead the formation of an H positive in water. Now the drawback. Firstly, it is only for aqueous medium. And secondly, Arrhenius could not explain the basicity of ammonia molecule. According to Arrhenius, base has to have an OH minus release. Ammonia, as you can see, does not have any OH ion in it to be released. Hence, according to Arrhenius, ammonia cannot be a base. 
but we very well know that ammonia is a base. So the second concept was to be introduced which was related to only protons that is your bronze student lorry concept. So Arrhenius concept was ruled up and we moved on to the second concept known as the bronze student lorry concept. I rest my class here. Thank you.